everyone, my name is Ellie and I'm making this guide to help you select coffee beans for your at-home espresso machine. This is just my personal choice and preference, but I wish I knew some of this stuff because I would have saved a little bit of money when I was trying to figure out what beans to go for. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing. Let's get right into the video. I'm not a coffee expert, but I am very particular about how I like my espresso shop to taste. And I can pretty much tell right away what kind of beans were used making that shot. Tip number one is to go for a medium roast. And I'm going to have a diagram here that kind of goes over all the roasts and how you could tell um, how the bean was roasted based on the color. Most Americans go for the medium roast. I don't know if it's just a cultural preference or whatnot, but I happen to be one of those people. So I like my coffee to not have a very fruity taste to it. When you have a light roast, the bean isn't fully roasted, so you tend to get more of the natural plant-like taste when it comes to that roast of bean. And then the medium is like kind of the sweet spot. That's where I like to stay. I just feel like it gives you the fullness of the bean and it's also not too much where it's like you're pretty much, you know, drinking charcoal. I know that's kind of a bad synonym, but that's how it tastes to me. And then you have the dark roast, which I'm not trying to offend anybody, but I personally don't like those um, because they tend to be very oily and just bitter. And I personally don't really like that flavor. Um, I also don't like it to be acidic tasting and when you go with the dark roast, that's kind of what you're getting. At least in my experience for the most part. So my second tip is I always look for something that's a full rich scent of the coffee and I don't really like any synthetic uh, flavorings into it. Like I've had coffee beans that have like blueberry something in there, caramel. I don't mind if it's just a little hint, but when it's too much, it kind of comes off like you're losing the coffee. Same thing with the roast. I really don't like it when it's too dark, where it kind of just smells burnt. My third tip is to just see what the coffee beans look like whole. So when you are at a roaster or even in your supermarket or wherever you're buying beans from, um, I always take a couple in my hand and I just kind of look at the color and also the oiliness of it because we don't want to again go with too many oils and too dark of a roast. I've also found that the coffee beans with a little line down the middle of them, um, lighter line than the rest of the bean, tend to actually be better when I'm pulling the espresso shots. I don't know if that has something to do with the way that they prepare the beans or if that's what comes out of the bean itself. Maybe it's something they add to it, I'm not sure. But usually when I just see the bean, I can tell that it's gonna be a good one um, based on that line. And also the color, you're looking for that beautiful middle ground where it's not too light and it's not too dark. So that's what I tend to do when I go shopping for coffee. Some of the things that I try to keep an eye out for when I'm shopping for a new coffee bean that maybe I haven't tried before is to see what date the beans were roasted. I tend to stay away from things that are more than 45 days because, you know, let's be honest, I'm not going to use the whole bag in one day and I don't want it to already be aged, so to speak, and then continue aging and losing its density. If you're going to coffee shops to buy the whole beans, you can sometimes ask them to sample a shot. I typically don't purchase in bulk from major retailers like Costco, Walmart, um, other places, because they tend to be on the older side. By older, I mean, it doesn't go bad until the expiration date, but I like to know that my coffee was freshly done and that way I feel like I'm getting the best quality and bang for my buck. I learned this lesson when I was shopping at Costco and bought one of their big bulky bags. I was kind of in a rush so I just decided, you know, it smells good, I'm just gonna take it with me. And when I came home I found the beans were super oily and dark. Even though it says medium roast, turned out not tasting very good either. It was kind of sour. Because of that experience, I don't really buy 
coffee in bulk. Some other tips that I have for you would be when you're actually pulling the shot through your espresso machine at home, you want to make sure that you're getting the right amount of pressure and that the grind is super fine. I do the finest one that my machine allows for because I feel like that way you get the full flavor. I do want to share some of my favorite coffee roasters to shop at. Hopefully this helps you get started and if you have any recommendations for me, please leave them down in the comments below. I love trying new coffee and I'll be looking for those. The first roaster I want to share with you would be Koba brand. They are located in Portland, Oregon and I just purchase everything from them online. But what I do love about them is that they always say the date that it was roasted and my favorite beans are these Natalia Maria and then the Kilenso. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that, but um, you can go ahead and try these and let me know what you guys think of them. I'm trying one of their new product lines, so we'll see how this goes. Maybe I'll do a review about this one for you guys later. My second recommendation would be the Stumptown Mount Hauler or Hauler Mount. I'm sorry, I'm so bad with the names. I just know what it looks like and I know where to buy them, so I just you know, go and do my thing. But they also um, are in Portland, Oregon. They also write their roast date and when you should enjoy it by. So they actually give you like a three month um, best use by. The third roaster I wanted to share with you guys, I actually ended up running out before I could film this video, but I will link them down below. It's by Blackrock and it's their medium roast. I believe it's called Old Town. Um, I'll maybe post a picture right here so that you guys can see that blend I tend to get a lot a lot of good feedback for as well So you guys should really try it out and let me know what you think well my friends that concludes our video for today I really hope that this was helpful to somebody if you have any questions Please let me know in the comments below Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button to let me know that you like content like this and I will see you guys in the next one